What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about upgrading my SQL 2014 to 2022 because I'm preparing to upgrade my SCCM. So let's get right into it. All right. So the first thing I need to do is check which version I have. I don't recall which version I had. I don't know if I had standard or enterprise. So what I did was open up the management studio. I selected the instant. I right clicked on it, went to properties. Once I clicked on properties, it tells me I'm using Microsoft SQL Server standard, which is awesome. 64 bit, which is beautiful. So that means I have to get the 2022 ISO standard, not enterprise. Next thing that I did was basically back up all my databases within my server. And the first one that I backed up was my SCCM database. I right clicked on my SCCM database. I went to task. I clicked on backup, I clicked on add, I clicked on the three little dots to browse and I gave it a name and I clicked OK and I clicked OK and I clicked OK again and it's going to start backing up. Once everything is done, you should get this that the backup was completed successfully and you're basically going to do the same thing with the rest of your databases that you have inside that server. Once you're done, it is time to mount the ISO and start the upgrade process. So I actually mounted the ISO within my virtual machine and it is the D drive. So I right clicked on the D drive and I selected install or run the program from your media. It's gonna launch this. On your left hand side, you're going to click and select installation. And once you do that, you're going to go all the way to the bottom and then click on upgrade from the previous version of SQL Server. Select that. It's going to start the wizard and you have two options. I selected I have an SQL Server license only. So once I select that, I clicked on next, accept the license and terms, click next. Uh, I'm not going to do the Microsoft update, so I click next here. I received an error, but I was able to continue and I think I had a, like a like a issue with internet because it didn't contact outside, but it's okay. I was able to continue. So I clicked next. I did receive a failure. And the reason why is because I didn't have the latest .NET framework on the machine. So what I did was I had to download and install it. So I opened up the browser. I went to this particular website. I clicked on download.net framework 4.8 runtime. And I clicked on the little arrow next to save. I clicked on save as and I dropped it inside the downloads folder and it was done. I clicked on open folder. I right clicked on the exe file and I ran it as an administrator. I accepted the license and terms and I clicked on install. It started installing. Once it's done, it's going to give you this. Click finish and you need to restart. So I clicked on restart now. It restarted the machine. And the next thing that we need to do is log back into the machine and rerun the upgrade process. Now, if everything works well, everything should pass, which is great. It should allow you to go to the next stage. So click next there. For my instant, I only have one instant. So I just click next. It will give you a warning about the reporting services. It's going to remove it because it doesn't have reporting services. You have to do that manually. I'm not using the reporting services. So I just checked off uninstall report services and click next. For any features, I left everything as the default, click next. For the instant configuration, I left it as the default, so I click next there. It's gonna run its feature rules. If everything works well, it should pass and take it to the next page. It gives you an additional warning about the reporting services and just click on upgrade and it's gonna upgrade and complete. It gave me this informational dialog box so I clicked OK and I clicked close and I rebooted the machine manually. Once the reboot was done and I logged into the machine, I clicked on start and you're going to see that your Microsoft SQL Server 2022 is installed into your server, which is great. Now the next thing that I needed to do is upgrade my studio management studio because I was still running 2014. So I went to this particular website and I selected free download for SQL Server Management Studio. I clicked on the little arrow next to the save button, clicked on save as, I dropped it inside my downloads folder and I clicked on save. Once that was done, I clicked on open folder. I right clicked on that exe file and I ran it as an administrator. I left it as the default location, which is going to drop it inside a C drive. 
So click on install. It's going to start installing. Once it's completed, you're going to get this. So you're going to close it. I clicked on the start button and I located the new management studio to launch it. It started launching up. It took me here. I clicked on connect to connect to my database. Everything was successful. Awesome. And I opened up the database folder because I wanted to make sure that my databases were online and I didn't have any issues on that. And that's it. I'm pretty ready to move to the next step within my lab. And that's to upgrade my SCCM to 2309. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.